In this video, I will show you how to mix plaster perfectly using a simple formula. If you like the idea of demystifying plaster calculations finally, then I got you, so keep watching. First and foremost, we need to understand number one pottery plaster. The manufacturer recommends 70 pounds of plaster to 100 pounds of water for perfect consistency. So knowing this ratio, we are going to use quarts and pounds as our measurements to find our formula. One quart of water is two pounds, and the plaster needed to match the manufacturer's ratio is 2.85 pounds of plaster. For the sake of simplicity and easier calculations, we are going to round that number up to three pounds of plaster. So the parts in weight is two pounds of water to three pounds of plaster. When we mix two pounds of water and three pounds of plaster, this yields us 80 cubic inches of set plaster. Then measure the volume of your model and container. Then subtract both measurements to find the amount of water. Let's try an example. To calculate the volume of water, our formula is volume equals pi multiplied by radius squared multiplied by height. So I measured my container and plugged in the radius and height to the formula to yield 210 cubic inches. I plugged in the measurements of my model to the same formula to yield 63 cubic inches. But wait, we're not done! What? In my case, I'm making a two-port mold, so I need to half the volume since I am only casting half the model right now. Ooh, complexity. Not really. So I have the volume of the container and model to yield 73 cubic inches. 73 over 80 cubic inches, which was our base result using quarts and pounds, is 0.9 quarts. This is rounded out to 1 quart for simplicity. Remembering that to get the right consistency in weight is 2 pounds water and 3 pounds plaster. We also know that 1 quart of water is 2 pounds. So we multiply 1 quart to 3 pounds of plaster. Now we know we need one quart of water and three pounds of plaster to have the right amount to cast one side of mold. I created a plaster calculation cheat sheet in order to make plaster calculations easier for you. Click the link in the description below to get this freebie. Now that we have our measurements done, you can weigh out the materials using a kitchen scale. Please use water that's about 70 degrees Fahrenheit or room temperature. Anything too cold, it'll set too slowly and anything too hot, It'll set way too fast. It's now time to get plastered at that type of plaster. During the first minute, you want to sift in your plaster gently. If you dump it in, you'll create air bubbles, and that will create more work for yourself in the future. And ain't no one got time for that! When you sprinkled in all the plaster, clean up the dry plaster on the walls. Then let the plaster soak for three minutes. This allows the plaster particles to fully hydrate themselves before mixing. Okay, we're at the 7 minute mark. Now we can start mixing. Feel your way to the bottom of the bucket to address any unmixed lumps. When this consistency goes from watery to creamy, you can stop and tap the bucket, and skim off any air bubbles. At the 10 minute mark, we are at the liquid stage. This is the perfect time to start pouring slowly along the walls. Pouring it in this way prevents splashing. Splashing causes more air bubbles. If I have not emphasized that air bubbles is the enemy of plaster, then I will say it again. Air bubbles are evil! <laughs> After filling, tap the sides to release any residual air bubbles. We are at the 12 minute mark and this is where things get thixotropic. Thixotropic means something semi-solid will turn into liquid when you shake it up. At the 20 minute mark, things really begin to harden. At this stage, there's nothing to do but to stare at it. Finally, some action at the 30 minute mark. This is where things get really hot. The plaster starts to expand during the heat cycle. If you need to remove your model for any reason, I recommend removing it during this stage since it's less likely to chip. Also, during this time, I like to clean up some areas so I can get it ready to cast for the second side. Remember to check out the free cheat sheet below. Please hit that notification bell so you never miss any ceramic tips. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and check out these two videos in the meantime. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!